Can, can you explain why? Okay, hold on, one second, one second, one second. Let us know when they're rolling. Guys, we have the attorneys. The attorneys are on 544. One you're second. On. Go ahead. Shimon, Go ahead, you're guys. on. Um, today's not a happy day. Today's no. a, a very sad day for this country. Um, I think that... Uh, can you hear? You're on, you're on, you're on. You're on. I think that what you saw in the okay, I hear you guys. On seal today um, is exactly what has been talked hear. about can hear. for the past seven years. You're saying they got and the district attorney has turned um, what is actually a completely political issue into a political prosecution, and it's not a good day. It's not a sad day. Um, I don't expect I, I don't expect this to happen um, in this country. You don't expect this to happen. Um, to somebody who was the president of the United States, and um, on the one hand, on the one hand, there's not really any surprises. Um, I know there was a lot of talk over the past several weeks and the past several days about what's going to be in this indictment and what's going to be there that um, we don't know. There must be something besides what we've been talking about for the past um, four or five years. There wasn't. There's nothing. The indictment itself is is boilerplate. It doesn't allege um, any federal crime, any state crime that's been violated. It doesn't allege what the false statement is. Um, and it's really disappointing. It's sad. And we're going to fight it. You, we're going to fight it hard. Were you surprised by anything in the indictment? Were you surprised by anything in the indictment? No. How about you, Joe? Were you surprised? Yeah, I was surprised there were no facts in there. I mean, normally in an indictment, you have alleged facts. So they said that this was a false business record entry to aid and abet another crime without saying what the other crime was. Can you talk about his demeanor? How is he doing? Trump's reaction was when he saw the charges against him. When you say so, what his reaction was, what do you expect his reaction was? I mean, his reaction, his reaction was exactly what would happen if it happened to anybody that I'm looking at now or anybody that's hearing what you're saying. Um, he's, he's frustrated. He's upset. But I'll tell you what, he's motivated. And it's not going to stop him. And it's not going to slow him down. And it's, it's exactly what he expected. And so to that extent, there's no surprise. But he's also, he's also, he's also upset and frustrated and disappointed and mad. What about the warnings against him? Well, that, there was not a warning. From, from well, the judge, talking about the judge the did not warn. The, the, judge, the, the district attorney made a statement um, addressing what they perceived to be, um, I'm not sure what the words they use, inappropriate rhetoric of some sort. Um, the, obviously, we responded, and the judge just took it in. The judge didn't warn. He asked the parties to, to consider what they're saying and not saying. Guys, he did not He's, admonish the president, no, and that's important. No, no but can the president not that would incite violence or civil unrest. He did not request that the, that the president not use language. He requested that everybody involved Correct. Both parties. refrain from using language as inappropriate. Talk and about by the way, that includes that includes the witnesses, the witnesses for the people um, who are talking just that as much as the president. also includes the former president swinging a baseball bat at the head of the Manhattan DA. Well, I don't know where you got that because if that you... That was a tweet sent out by the former president. No, it wasn't. Tweet. And first of all, first of all, first of all, that picture was not him swinging a baseball bat. I mean, if you want to distort the facts, go right ahead. I won't address that. Yes, it is. He wasn't swinging a baseball bat at anyone's head. That was a picture of him showing off an American-made bat. But Someone we'll, else we'll, put a picture of the district attorney next to him and in an article posted that. That's not his article. That's not his article. Wasn't that untrue? He's not using language that incites... Guys, here's what we're going to talk about today. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the insufficiency of this case. And I will say this to you. Today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country. Because while everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. Please understand that based on these charges. What are we going to get him tonight when he speaks? When? Tonight. Uh, yeah, eight o'clock. What are we? What are we gonna get? What? I don't know. You'll, you'll hear it. You think we know? You should wanted a trial. Can you? January. Did you think that was realistic? No. Can you guys talk no. about? There's a lot of speculation about the unity among the defense attorneys. Look at this. There's Look at us. Of, is that why you chose Look. to do this? We come come out you guys together. Out together? Yeah. We, we chose, know. We chose to come out together so we could speak with one voice, but there is no disunity here. That's gossip and it's nonsense. And We've been working together and we will be working together. And this, to me, quite frankly, is the best team I've ever worked with, the lawyers. Um, I'm honored to be working with these guys. It's a family. 
It's a team, and we have one mission, and we'll achieve What's that mission. What's your next move? What's your next move? I'm going to go home and have some food. What about the change of venue stuff? When do we start filing? When do you start filing motions? I'm assuming one of the first things you're going to do is to dismiss. I assume that'll be something. The judge set a motion schedule that requires motion filed in four months. So that's some of the filing motions. This whole notion about how this is sort of like a novel or do you? It's not a notion. It's actually a fact. But talk about that. But like, There's nothing else to say. It's the district attorney. This 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 office has existed for decades and decades, and you have ne you can find one if you'd like. You you'll never wow. see a charge like this um, ever. You understand this case. You understand this. As simple as this. A state prosecutor is prosecuting a, a federal election law violation that doesn't exist according to federal election law officials. It's as simple as that. That you can sum it all up like that. Will there be anything else in your motion to dismiss? That we haven't even come close to. What about the change of venue? There's all this talk. That, can someone address that now? That the defendant could potentially post discovery on social media. You commit that your client will do that. That won't happen. And they, they, more than more than us committing, he's committed. What about, about the change of venue? A lot. About posting on social media. Have you given him? We're not. We're not having any discussion about what we told her. What about the change of venue? Just answer this question about the change of venue. There's a lot. It's premature. Right. Right. So why is he? Why is he talking about that? Why is he trying to move this to a place so, like Staten Island? Once again, we're three lawyers here to litigate and fight this case. We're not PR consultants. We're not social media consultants. Donald Trump has made one hell of a brand and became president of the United States with his uh, social media and posts and everything else, his messages. We are here to talk about the case and litigate cases. We can't address what he posts or what he wants to post or did post. But as his Most attorneys, stuff. have you told him to stop posting this rhetoric? So what I said before was we can't. Literally, we yeah. can't tell you what we've discussed with no, our clients. No, I understand, clients. but so are you answer. concerned that I mean, he's continuing to I go after the judge, talking about the judge's wife, talking about the family? I mean, are you... Con I, mean, I don't think any the judge was concerned about it. Yeah, but any other defendant, wouldn't you be like... Any other defendant wouldn't be here today. He's not today. going after the judge. He is not going after the judge. He commented that he thought that there were some issues that may cause a conflict. That's not going after the judge. He is not threatening the judge. He is the not going after the right, judge. He's going after the he DA. has said that the DA, he is angry because the DA has brought a case that is unjustified. I mean, and so I'm not going to comment on it. You may that. disagree with the but way he spoke, but he is angry. Was he about fingerprinted? About was there a I'm not going to talk about it. Was there a In fact, I think that, thank you for your attention. What is his message? Thank you, counselors.